This is section 4.8, and we are going to solve equations that contain fractions. And we are going to use the same properties that we use to solve equations with integers. So um, we're going to solve this equation x minus 3 tenths equals 9 twentieths. So my goal is to find the value of x, and I want to eliminate the constant. So just as we would with integers, um, if they're subtracting 3 tenths, we're going to add 3 tenths on both sides of the equation. Now I'm going to use a calculator, and I expect you will too. Um, you don't have to work these out by hand. Um, and I'm going to add 9 twentieths plus 3 tenths. And um, I get x equals 3 fourths. And I do want to check my solution. So I'm going to start with my original equation x and substitute 3 fourths. 4x subtract 3 tenths and make sure that I get 9 twentieths. Okay, so I'm going to use the subtraction property of equality here. So my goal is to get t alone on the right side of the equation. So I need to eliminate the 1 half. So I'm going to subtract 1 half from both sides of this equation, and I'm actually going to enter negative um, 5 fourths into my calculator, minus 1 half, and it leaves me with uh, negative 7 fourths equals t. And I'm going to check this solution in my original equation by substituting negative 7 fourths for t and 1 half um, minus 7 fourths is equal to negative 5 fourths. So negative 5 fourths equals negative 5 fourths and that's my balance statement. So here I have two choices um, with the multiplication or division. So I can um, do it both ways for you. So first, our coefficient is 4 fifths. 4 fifths x means 4 fifths times x. And I can divide both sides of this equation by 4 fifths. So 4 fifths divided by itself is 1x, which is just x. And then 2 sevenths divided by 4 fifths is 5 fourteenths. Now the other way I can do this is um, since they are multiplying by 4 fifths here, I could multiply both sides of this equation by its reciprocal, 5 fourths. And here I would end up with 1x is equal to 5 fourteenths as well. So you can divide by 4 fifths or multiply by 5 fourths, whichever way you like. And then we'll check the solution. So I'll take 4 fifths x and that is 5 fourteenths. And make sure that equals 2 sevenths. So I'll plug that into my calculator, 4 fifths times 5 fourteenths. And I see that it equals 2 sevenths. So my balance statement, 2 sevenths equals 2 sevenths. And one more time, I have a coefficient. So I can divide both sides of this equation by negative 1 sixth. And so I have um, 8 divided by negative 1 6, which is negative 48. Or, if you prefer, 8 equals negative 1 6y. 
I can take the reciprocal of negative 1, 6, which is negative 6 over 1, and multiply both sides of this equation by negative 6 over 1, which is negative 6, and negative 48 equals uh, y still. Okay, and then I can check my solution if I take negative 1, 6 times negative 48, I see that I get positive 8. Another coefficient to eliminate, I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient negative 4. So this is negative 2 ninths divided by negative 4. And we get 1 18th equals w. Checking the solution, negative 2 ninths equals negative 4 times negative 4 times 1 18th. So negative 2 ninths equals negative 2 ninths. Now I have a two step equation. It's going to take two steps to get the x alone. First, I'm going to eliminate the constant by addition. I'll add one third to both sides of this equation. So I have 3 fourths x is equal to 5 6 plus one third, which is equal to uh, 7 6. Now I'll either divide by 3 fourths or multiply by 4 thirds, which is the same thing. And 7 6 divided by 3 fourths gives me um, 14 ninths. So um, I can check my solution by taking 3 fourths times 14 ninths minus one third and making sure that equals five six on both sides and that you get a balanced statement. And here's some practice problems for you to try solving equations.